Lord Eden Landing Ecological Reserve, which is about 5,000 acres in total. There's about 2,200 acres of that that we are moving towards construction on. These former salt pond berms were never engineered or designed as true flood protection levees, but they did provide a kind of incidental protection between the bay and the developed communities behind them, whether it's a city or a bridge or a highway or a wastewater treatment plant or anything like that. And so a lot of times before we can bring in the bay water closer to shore, we have to build up one or more of those old salt pond berms so that we retain or improve the current levels of flood protection or flood risk management capability. Uh, working with Granite Rock here, bringing in this material, raising up some of these levees, uh, first, as I said, for the flood protection, and, and second of all, to build islands or habitat transition slopes, and that helps wildlife it provides some, some protection against erosion and scour, the kinds of things that exist now, but that we expect to worsen with sea level rise in the future. And so in, in that way, all of these kinds of beneficial reuse of this excavated material that really do help guard against current flood risk, allow the restoration project and the habitat enhancement to move forward, they help adapt to future sea level rise and, and protect from long-term levee failure. So my name is Pat Mopelli. I'm the land use manager for Granite Rock, but I'm also involved in construction, not building the work, but helping us capture work to build mostly around wetland restoration or flood control projects or sea level rise resiliency type projects. In place, we have a five-year agreement with the California Department of Fish and Wildlife, who is the owner of the property, to supply up to a million cubic yards of material for levee maintenance. One of the consultants working with the California Department of Fish and Wildlife is uh, Ducks Unlimited, which is a private nonprofit that does construction management for wetland restoration. So we're maintaining those levees to the elevations and the data that has been provided to us by Ducks Unlimited. Lisa Prasad, Soil Distribution Manager for Granite Rock. Levy restoration projects, the dirt has to be pretty clean because we're going to be dealing with marine life. It's pretty stringent. There's a, a standard set of test methods that we run. Metals, we test for volatile organic compounds, pesticides. At this project, we have a foundation material which is used to form the bottom of the levees. And then we bring in the surface dirt, which is cleaner. It has less concentrations of the analytes that have been tested that gets placed on top because that material is what's going to be touching the water most. Uh, Butch Parades, uh, that's my nickname. Uh, full name is Anthony Parades Jr. I'm with Granite Rock. I'm the land use site manager. I grew up actually a mile away from here in the town of Alvarado in Union City. My father worked for Leslie Salt, which was then Cargill Salt, which these ponds behind us were at one time salt production ponds. So he not only worked out here occasionally, but uh, we used to come out here and fish. We'd go out to the bay's edge and fish for striped bass. Uh, in the fields adjacent to us here was pasture land at the time, and some of the ponds that weren't ponds back then were pasture land as well. We used to hunt mushrooms. <laughs> so I know this area, like the back of my hand, white pelicans, gray pelicans, snowy plover, red-tailed hawks, marsh hawks, osprey, go down to the small sandpipers, American avocets, black stilt avocets. Occasionally they'll, you'll find a striped bass and there are a lot of bait fish, uh, bullheads and uh, gobies or what they call mudsuckers. You also get ducks during season, uh, a lot of Canadian geese that don't go home, <laughs> that frequent the area. You know, we have really smart people in the field that are managing the work on a day-to-day -day basis that are always ahead of the curve, thinking where can we place this material, how much material is gonna be needed along this stretch of this levee, and then truthing it out with collecting final elevation data. At the federal level right now, there's a lot of bills being discussed to provide federal money to supplement some of the costs. Locally, there's money that has been raised through Measure AA to help fund some of these things, and then at the state level as well. It really is coming down to is there enough money out there to put in the infrastructure needed to protect disadvantaged communities and then our public resources, wastewater treatment plants, highways and other transportation modes that get people
from their home to their to their place of employment, and um, it's, it's really good stuff.